watch daily videos and ace your GRE preparation. Don't forget to click on the bell icon and subscribe to the channel. Hi everyone, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to GRE King and I hope you guys are uh, watching these daily videos. Uh, one thing I want all of you guys to let me know is if you want any other videos, students who are actually preparing for your any of these exams and you want specific videos, do let me know in the comment section below and uh, I'll do it for you. So now let's start the vocabulary words for today. Okay, so today we are going to talk about four new words and as all of you guys must be aware that you know you are also bucketing new words. So when I talk about synonyms and antonyms of the words that I'll be teaching, so those are the new words that you're learning. So in one video, you are learning around about 10 to 15 new words, okay? So how are you going to actually put that up in your vocabulary or memorize? Just make a sentence out of it and comment in the, uh, like comment below and you'll be able to actually uh, learn all of these words and use in day-to-day -day language, okay? So the first word that we are going to learn today is placate. Okay, P L A C A T E, placate. Okay, what do you mean by placate? Placate means uh, making someone less angry or you know, making somebody calm. Okay, calming somebody, soothing somebody. The synonyms of the word placate would be uh, to calm, mollify, to appease, okay, or to soothe or to pacify. Okay, when somebody is very angry and you go to that person and you talk nicely and you know, you just calm that person down or you calm something down. Like, you know, so that you say that, you know, you are placating it, okay? You are soothing it, calming it. So just uh, going down the level, like, you know, the anger level that's there, you are calming the anger level and making the person calm and quiet, okay? So that is what you mean by the word placate. And the synonyms, as I told you, is pacify, calm, appease, mollify, and soothe. So wherever you see all of these words, all of these words are similar or exactly same in meaning. So you are learning one word. So how you are going to write down in your notebook is it's placate and just make arrows, okay? And write down soothe, mollify, calm, appease, okay? So whenever you see these words, everything means the same, okay? Now the antonyms of the word placate, like, you know, you're calming somebody down and the antonym, the opposite will be to provoke, okay? To aggravate or to irk somebody. Okay, now to, uh, if you have to provoke somebody and just, you know, initiate a fight and just provoke someone or irk the anger in somebody or aggravate as in make the situation worse. Okay, so these are the antonyms of the word placate. Moving ahead, the next word that we are going to learn is exacerbate. Okay, exacerbate, very common uh, word that you would find in any of the competitive exams like GRE. And exacerbate is to make worse, to make something worse, okay? So the synonyms would be aggravate, intensify, magnify, or amplify, okay? There is something you are provoking, again, the opposite, provoking somebody and making things worse, okay? So that is what you mean by exacerbate, okay? Next is antonyms of the word, again, will be placate, that is you calm, soothe, and mollify. So the two words that we have learned is placate and exacerbate. Placate is to calm, and exacerbate is to make worse, okay? So synonyms will be aggravate, intensify, magnify, amplify, and the antonyms will be calm, soothe, and pacify, okay? Now let's move ahead to the third word for the day. Okay, so the third word for the day is hackneyed, okay? Hackneyed means a boring, like, you know, something which is very unoriginal and it has been repeated so many times that, you know, it leads you to uh, actually making that particular thing very cliche or very boring. Okay, so that is what you mean by hackneyed. Just check out the spellings. There should not be any spelling errors while you're actually uh, going through these words. Okay, now next thing that you have to understand is the synonyms and the antonyms of the word. So the synonyms of the word hackneyed will be banal, trite, okay, banal, B-A-N-A-L. It again means boring and uh, like uh, very boring and very cliche and very same. Like, you know, next word that you're going to learn is platitudinous, okay? So what do you mean by platitudinous? Platitude is a plain land, so something which is very uh, stagnant and it is repetitive. It's the same old thing and it becomes very boring. So the synonyms are banal, trite, platitudinous, humdrum, prosaic, like, you know, old. Prosaic is again old, boring. Uh, next is antonyms of the word hackneyed. 
सो एंटेनिम्स ऑब्वियसली समथिंग विच इज बोरिंग एंड समथिंग विच इज इनविगरेटिंग और ओरिजिनल और फ्रेश और इंटरेस्टिंग सो दीज आर गोइंग टू बी दी एंटेनिम्स ऑफ द वर्ड हैकनेड ओके मूविंग अहेड विद द लास्ट एंड द फोर्थ वर्ड फॉर टूडे इज इम्पीचुअस ओके वॉट डू मीन बाय इम्पीचुअस Impetuous. If a person is impetuous, he is doing something without giving a thought to it. Okay, so you are not thinking, and you are just doing something for the heck of it. That means you are very impulsive. You are very reckless, heedless. You are not thinking about something and just executing it. So that will lead to some errors, and uh, it won't won't lead to a good finished product. There will be a lot of errors, or you are going to screw it up. Okay, so impetuous means you are not thinking. or uh, about something and doing it without thinking so the synonyms of the word will be impulsive uh, heedless hasty and reckless okay similarly if you are actually understanding something and uh, you are very careful about doing something so antonyms of the word impetuous is going to be cautious heedful and prudent okay prudent again means wise that means you are thinking and then you are actually doing it. okay so now just quickly revising all the four words that we have learned today so we learned four words and lot of bucketing of words we have done so that is your homework to just go again uh, watch the entire video again and make notes again if you have not yet done okay so four words are placate that is to calm somebody or calm something the synonyms would be soothe appease mollify next word is exacerbate that is you make something worse the synonyms will be aggravate intensify the third word that we learned today is hackneyed that is boring very unoriginal banal trite platitudinous i explained you with example and the last word that we learned was impetuous that is you know you are doing something without giving a thought to it that is you are very impulsive and reckless okay i hope you guys enjoyed the lecture and you all know your homework you have to use these words in sentences and put down in the comments below anything else any suggestions any particular specific thing you want us to make a video of and put it up uh, don't hesitate to put down in the comments and happy learning bye bye